Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. Spurs. They've got Robinson. Irving out there with Tony Parker. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Duncan in at the four. Outside Leonard. Sinks the triple. Kawhi Leonard. A true go-to option on offense. Leonard knows this team depends on him to take and make those big shots. Paul for three. That shot, no good. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Here's Gervin. Kept alive. Robinson. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. And, and that's why you never stop working in the paint at either end of the floor. Outside, Davis. Pass to Davis. Over Robinson. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with River. That's high-quality defense right there. Read the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. Paul dishes to Davis. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Chris, Chris Paul, you better have your hands ready. Uh, if you're open, he'll find you, or you're going to get hit in the head. Here's Leonard. The putback. I said again, and it's Robinson with the bucket inside. And, and you know what? He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty when it comes to really fighting on the backboard. And when he's this active early, it's a sign this could be one of those big games for him. And Davis throws it down. Oh, I can't think of a better partner to have in the picker mode than this. He sets hard screens and has the soft hands to match. Pass to Parker. Over Paul. Parker's shot is off. And so it's Davis bring the ball up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by three. With some arc. And the layup is up and in. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop. Well, that's all about feel. And shot on the way. And that one hits back iron. Now you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And that one's good. Parker. And the defense making its presence felt. But Parker just too creative when he gets down low. And they double up Davis. Here's West. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Now here's Gervin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. The baseline J. And the rebound goes to Duncan. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And that one's good. Gervin. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, he had to bring much faster help than that. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan easily allowing him to turn away shots. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Parker against Paul. Parker inside. And Davis sends it back. Outstanding at using his wingspan to erase shots. Here's Mashburn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kawhi Leonard. No question. He got bumped on that shot. New Orleans shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Jamal Mashburn at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. 
Yeah, and Mashburn, really one of the more versatile guys at that forward position. He can score, rebound, and pass all at a high level. Both good from the line that time. Oh, not many players with a more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Gervin passes to Parker. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Six on the shot clock. That one drops for him. And guys, the best thing about Kawhi picking up assists is that it's contagious. When you've got a dominant score setting his teammates up, and everyone falls in line. They grab their own miss. Feeds it to Duncan. And he uses the glass on the way. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with San Antonio's head coach. The coach said he thinks their defense has to control pace tonight. He said it's our first meeting against these guys, and we want to play tough, aggressive defense. But we have to be smart out there. We have to recognize what they're trying to do and adjust to that. Kevin? Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the double. And Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion of the rest of the game. Out, well, I like the plan. I mean, sometimes teams focus so much ball. on generating points, they neglect getting stops. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. I, who is the loudest and craziest fan in the building? Whoever you are, you're about to get a free T-shirt. Let me hear you. Let me hear you, fans. Pelicans trail. All up top, covered by Parker. Paul can't get it to go. Got to give him credit for his confidence. I mean, he hasn't hit a single shot this quarter, but he still keeps firing. Duncan drawing the double team. It's good from long range. Gervin's got five points so far. Silky smooth. I tell you, Gervin can make it look as easy as a free throw, but defensively, boy, is he difficult to stop. Spurs leading by five. Robinson kicks to Parker. Back to Robinson. Fades away. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. West has got four rebounds in this game. Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. Oh, embracing contact on the way up. I mean, Davis is terrific at keeping his composure on these challenging finishes. Parker against Davis. Parker drives in. Ball outside. 13 feet away. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, with their needing a fight from behind, he's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. Over Parker, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And how about that exhale there? Finally gets one to fall through six attempts. Leonard inside. He had drops for his wow. third basket. He's missed only one shot. Pelicans trailed by five. Here's Paul. Offensive rebound. Here's Davis. Robinson with the block. And they're able to recover. Offensive rebound. And they get it back. It doesn't go for him. Davis with some nice deep. To the paint. Here's West. Duncan with the block. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. 
In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. against Parker. Passes to Robinson. Banked in off the glass. David he has six. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. It always helps when your point guard can throw it down. Davis with that impressive vertical likes powering it home inside. Now here is Robinson. David he has six. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D struggling to keep up. Leonard with the steal. Pulls from the top of the key. Misses off the right eye. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going down. Height. Hands. When Davis has every advantage on this play, the defense can effectively counter him. Now here's Leonard. He has seven. Back to Parker. Gervin outside. Kicks to Duncan. Five to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Parker inside. Defended by Paul. Robinson, that's good. I love watching Robinson work there in the paint. Possesses that strength and touch around the basket. Paul passes to Davis. Over Robinson. Rebound San Antonio. Gervin right side. Duncan trying to break loose. Oh, <laughs> inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Davis against Robinson. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Robinson. cut into that lead just take it to the hoop my friend and how brilliant throwdown his shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block sharp instincts on D there just timing when to rise up and swat that one away Parker with it West picks him up and that one's good Parker yeah the pick and roll is a deadly thing when Parker gets involved like there you never know what he's going to do Here's Paul. San Antonio with the rebound. Robinson's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And the shot goes down. Gervin's got nine points. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Parker against Paul. Pocket six. And there's the pass to Davis. Over Robinson. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 
if you're just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Spurs. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on their opposing shooters in general. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So the Pelican five right now. Williamson out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Holiday, and there's Davis, and it's Mashburn, and it's the small forward position. And that one is good. 12 points for him. Well, if you're the D, you got to box out there. So that's just kind of a sense, because when you don't, he hurts you for this type of mistake. Inside, and Duncan gets it to go on the answers from Leonard. Duncan's got the lead up to 11 now for San Antonio. That's their third straight make off an assist. It's Davis with the drop. Robinson with the block. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And we're starting the second quarter. About a minute gone. Williamson with it. Leonard picks him up. And that one's good. Williamson. Williamson with the elite ability to finish off contact. And, and it's just not the strength. It's the body control. Stolen by Holiday. Pass to Williamson. Over Ginobili. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Here's Duncan. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. David Robinson. Robinson's got five assists in the game. Davis up top. Seven points in the game. And it's Holiday at the elbow. It's rebounded by David Robinson. Robinson's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Now here's Leonard. Ginobili, that's for two. Another one falls for San Antonio. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable look. Here's Dampier. He's guarded by Davis, and he gets the bucket. Dampier has got his first points in this one. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question, they're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. in the second quarter. We've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Outside Holiday carries it from three-point range. Holiday's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Down low, here's Robinson. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's Holiday. Duncan with the block. He drives in. He gets it in there. Duncan's got six here in this quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. That's the holiday. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists tonight. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the floor of the game. The points are starting to come. Now here's Leonard. 
He has seven. Just five on the clock. Puts it up. And another basket for San Antonio. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. They're just playing smart basketball. Reading the floor well and executing. Here is Davis. Seven points in the game. Holiday gets the bucket. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the dean. Showing he can hurt you from that area. Here's Leonard. It's stolen. On the wing, Holiday. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Holiday's got 12 points in the game. Passes it to Robinson. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Turnovers haven't been a problem for them so far, but it's a very good job taking care of Marcus Aldridge. Well, Marcus Aldridge has checked in for San Antonio. Davis, the pass to Holiday. Davis dishes to Davis. The kick out to Holiday. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're tripped. Leonard against Davis. Leonard the pass to Dan Pierre. Pulls up. And he hits the jump shot. Dampier's got six here in this quarter. Pelicans trailed by nine. Holiday attacking. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Robinson. And Davis sends it back. Williamson with it. Leonard picks him up. Williamson kicks to Davis. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Here's Dampier. He's got six. Outside Leonard. Outside Aldridge. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense. Off balance. Julius Reynolds check in for Zion Williamson. Spurs leading by five. Outside Aldridge. Spurs passing it around. Now the pass to Dan Pierre. Here's the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Dan Pierre's got nine. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Davis with it. He's against Dampier. Davis finds Holiday. Shot clock at five. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. No problems knocking that one down. Great recognition from Randall. Seeing an opportunity to rise and fire and make use of it. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. in and Griffin subbed in for Mono Genova. Spurs leading by six. Here's Dampier. Nine points in the game so far. Six to shoot. Here's Gilmore. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Here's Davis. He dishes it to Randall. That shot off. 
And San Antonio will go the other way with it. At one point, they led by 16. And Gervin kicks to Dampier. Pass to all. Over Davis. That's short off the rim. Pelicans trailed by eight. Now Davis. He's got nine. He feeds it to Holiday. Count it. Holiday's got 18 points in the game. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Pass to Bowen. This is it to Gerber. Over Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Spurs shoot their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Shooting for San Antonio. George Gerber taking two shots. Free throw good. Gervin. All checked in for New Orleans. And San Antonio with the change here too. Parker's checked in. So he gets them both. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Eight point game. From about 19 feet, that's tipped. Aldridge looking for an opening. Here's Parker. Davis with some nice deep. Parker's gone only three of ten here from the floor. Here's Holiday. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And he's got it all working for him tonight. Holiday's effort level and energy are off the charts. Outside over. Over Paul. San Antonio again missing. Two minutes remaining. There's the feet to Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Such incredible hops for a center. Look, it allows him to hold his own against any other five in the There's the pass to Parker. Over Paul. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. That's now eight points for Tony Parker. It's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Outside for Davis. From outside, off the mark. Spurs leading by six. Parker outside. He gets that one to drop. He's now five of 12. And when you give Parker room to work his magic down inside, he knows how to finish with style. Here's Davis, and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. 16 points for Anthony Davis. Gervin passes to Parker. Here's Bowen. Pass to Parker. He had stolen by Randall. Here's the dish to Paul. New Orleans moving the ball around. Feeds it to Randall. Shoots from the elbow. Another one falls for New Orleans. Hey, the key is confidence, which is exactly what Randall displayed there, taking and connecting. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Aldrich double teamed. Over to the wing. Pass to Parker. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the way in. Parker's got six points in the quarter. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll return shortly. It's San Antonio out on top at halftime. They have a six-point lead. Kenny, what was your impression? They're running a smooth offense tonight, creating high-quality shots. Motion, sharp. Sharp as a razor. 
Their spacing is excellent. They're moving the ball well. I love the way this team is. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans play? Gotta give some credit to the energy of their bench. Second year guys are trying to make a name for themselves tonight. And you know, I like the fire under the starters, baby. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Gervin. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Duncan. Then it's Robinson, and it's Parker, and it's the one spot. And finished off by Davis. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. It's good on the putback. Gervin's got 13. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass for the tip -in. Here's Mashburn to the middle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Kawhi Leonard. It's on that Kawhi Leonard. Personal. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls. I mean, we've seen that free throw tip number skyrocket. For New Orleans, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. First free throw is good. Yeah. And the fire Davis plays with, I mean, it's so special. This guy wants to win and will do whatever it takes to do it. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Robinson dishes to Parker. Yep, that one goes. He's got 14. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Davis finds Davis, and Davis throws it down. Yeah, this is a Everything is going to Davis. When he's in the zone, it's going at a terrific Here's Duncan. No good off the back of the rim. Pelicans trailed by four. Fires from the wing. And it's Davis missing. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Robinson leading the charge. Davis against Gervin. Bounce pass, Robinson. Six to shoot. Shoots it up. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Spurs lead by six. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Davis against Robinson. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Parker passes to Gerber. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Pelicans trailed by four. Driving in. Mashburn, the pass to West. New Orleans moving the ball around. Pass to Mashburn. No good on the three. Here's San Antonio now. Here's Duncan, and it's a hit by West. And it goes out of bounds. That one on West. Duncan, Duncan. 
right around three minutes into the second half. A three from Leonard. And he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Off. And finished off by the David. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Parker. Here's Duncan. No good that time. Well, New Orleans will take it the other way. High post, Davis. And finished off by Anthony Davis. Uh, and for a big man, Davis has some sweet bounce in his arsenal. Sweet finish. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Man, he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. defense New Orleans their defense has only allowed six points in the second half Parker with it picked up by Davis goes up on the way and that one goes long nothing seems to be going his way this quarter yeah, awful display from him so far but you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around that works just like they drew it up until the part where he short arms the play. From 15 feet away, it's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And look, he's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. Paul passes to Davis, and there it is for him. Davis has got it all tied up now for the Pelicans. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. The pass to Leonard. New Orleans. Norton's making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. Elliott's checked in for the Spurs. First team foul. Into the lineup for the Spurs. Parker surveying the floor. Leonard on the wing. Just five to shoot. Over Davis. Robinson. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And finished off by Davis. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, true. But we'll see if they can keep forging ahead. For now, you got to give them credit for coming back. Now here's Leonard. He's got seven. Robinson, that's good. And how about that find by Leonard to a wide open shooter? He, he's only getting better at seeing those gaps. The drive by Paul lays it up and banks it in. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Pass to Leonard. Looking to end his cold spell. Elliott. That's good. Sean it's Leonard with the assist. For three. Leonard's got four assists in the game. And this is why Elliott is a valuable player for them. A lengthy small forward with a lethal perimeter shot. And the Spurs scoring again. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. This game has come to life. They're out there battling now. We didn't see this in the first half. Now here is Davis. 15 points in the game. Shot up two there. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Parker kicks to Leonard. Here's Robinson. Drops in the layup for two. Timeout, timeout. Robinson's got 22. 
No, no, no. When the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. One guy who's been getting it done is David Robinson. He's running wild. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his momentum. Marcus Cousins is checked in for New Orleans. Wesley comes in for Baron Davis. Pelicans trailed by five. Paul dishes to Ingram. Pass to Wesley. Over in the corner, Paul. On the wing, Robinson pulls it in. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Parker. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Let's it go with the three. And Chris Paul gets the three. Paul's got five points in the quarter. This is why you got to play up on Paul. I mean, you can't give him any separation. He'll, he'll burn. Passes it to Elliott. Now Robinson. That one falls. David Robinson. Robinson's got ten points here in the second half. Well, with the role he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him and get that lead even bigger. It's good in the San Antonio lead is get down to two as they get the bucket from Paul. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Now here's Parker. He's got 14. Here's Elliott. Lays it up off the glass. Sure, Elliott. Elliott's got his second basket of the night. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. And it's Paul penetrating. And he banks in the lane. Always a threat to turn on the Jets. Paul, quick switch of gears. Gets to the rack. Parker passes to Duncan. And Duncan throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg. Everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding with his extension there and just hammering it home. And they pick up two. How about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half. And now he's the man for him. Now here's Parker. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Spurs lead by six. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Ingram's got his first three points of the game. Three point range from his days at Duke. Ingram shoots the frames. Looking to get back on track here. High post Cousins. This is to Paul. Back to Cousins. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Spurs leading by three. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings. Just, just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for San Antonio. You know what? Shoot They've two. been hitting the boards hard. And it's paid off with a bunch of second-chance points. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. That one is off. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Balls checked in for Paul.
good on the second free throw. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for New Orleans. Trailing by four. No good there. So it's San Antonio now. At one point, they led by 16. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. The Spurs have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Shooting one. Pelicans trail by seven. Ball with it. The pass to Cousins. Over Robinson. And that one comes up a bit short. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back door. Parker's shot is off. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Here's Wesley. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Wesley's got his first two points. What an excellent distributor Zoe is. I mean, he has a knack for getting it to his open teammates. Here's Parker. Again, the miss by the Spurs. One item that stood out. They're both. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Here's Silas. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game and both teams putting up points in a hurry. It's San Antonio. They're up by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. We've got Lonzo Ball. West is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Peja Stiakovich. And it's Mashburn in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Out of and it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs Third will take it. Spurs leading by three. Gervin passes to Silas. Duncan Tim had Duncan. that basket to his impressive total. Brings in to 10 for 14. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. Has a number of moves to choose from. And that soft, delicate touch near the rim. Now here's Cousins. It's deflected. Here's Silas. The nine-foot shot. And Paul with the block. A solid shot blocker in his position. Boss Lynn allows him to make a difference on the show. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust. And that's reflected in the score. Now here's Parker. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. And that's two points on the layup. And the Spurs lead by five. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, here's Cousins. Tight defense on him. It's very difficult for the D to cleanly contest Cousins. Just a hulking presence who bullies his way into shooting fouls. First team foul. At the line for your Republicans, DeMarcus Cousins. Two shots. Free throw good from Cousins. And there's no secret. Cousins is one of the more fiery competitors in this league. And I like guys who play with their heart on their sleeve. And the Spurs making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And 
that one goes in. Two from the line that time. San Antonio leading by three. Gervin passes to Parker. Stojakovic against Leonard. Pass to Parker. Gervin outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Leonard. And it's rebounded by Mashburn. Mashburn's got four rebounds in this game. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. Pass to Parker. That shot is off. Nice D from Cousins. Here's Mashburn. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. At one point, they led by 16. Even though he's gone ice cold, he keeps shooting. And it's late enough in the game for him to recognize her. <laughs> this is a better option. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will attack possession. Some changes for New Orleans. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Cousins. And it's Davis in for Peja Stiakovich. Here's Ball. Davis, the pass to Ball. To take the lead. San Antonio with the rebound. Duncan's got rebound number eight now on the night. And Parker, here we go. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Lonzo Ball picks one up. You gotta love the intensity on that attack by Parker to draw the foul. He is a beast off the bounce. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Yeah, and Parker just puts so much pressure on your defense with his speed, and he's made a living out of doing that. He's off on the second. That's not like him at all. I mean, he's been so steady up into those. West finds Davis. And here is Ball. Back to Davis. And they double up Davis. Five on the clock. Gilmore grabs the miss. The bench was ready to erupt. Instead, look at him. They're the faces in their top. <laughs> and part of what makes Kawhi such a great player is that jump shot. You can't just worry about him attacking the basket. Here's Ball with the three. And that one falls coming off of Davis' speed. And it's official. They have come all the way back. At one point, Tim, this thing seemed to be out of reach. And now with all the momentum on this side here late, you got to think they've got the upper hand. The drive by Ball. And the layup's good off the glass. Ball's got the game tied up here for the Pelicans. Parker against Ball to the inside. Gervin. Oh! Boom! He jams it straight down. Yeah, the assist by Parker. Just brilliant. Really seeing his teammates out there. The three from Davis. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact for me. One of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Now here's Davis, and they double up Davis. Ball from long range. A three-pointer is right on target. Ball's got the lead up to two now for the Pelicans. Ball's gone three for five from the field. This is a two Leonard. Over Mashburn. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Leonard's got four points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Ball, the pass to Davis. Count that bucket. As a defender, is so tough to body up Davis. He'll find a way to get to the bucket. And the foul, I mean, that's what Abel does. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for New Orleans. If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. He throw good, Davis. Here's Parker. 
outside Robinson and the pass to Duncan. And here's Leonard from three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Paul's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half and only one in the first. Here's Parker. And he makes good on the way. Oh, and, and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Paul. And again, New Orleans has no luck. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. And Gervin kicks to Parker. Inside. And Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Parker. Parker's got assist number eight here in this one already. Here's Paul. He's trying to free himself up. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Paul's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Duncan tried to break loose. And that one's good. Parker. And the Spurs lead by one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Paul with the ball. Robinson picks him up to the middle. Here's Davis. Good on the seven footer. And that's 31 points for Davis. All quarter long has been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Robinson. And Davis sends it back. And he recovers it. Pass to West. Great D that time from Duncan. West has gone three of nine shooting. Gervin outside. Six on the shot clock. He kicks to Duncan. Parker outside. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got his third assist on the night. And that's a nice jump shot there by Parker. Caught it right in rhythm. Now here is Davis. Paul, no one around him. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. And Antonio calls timeout. player of the game, Anthony Davis. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear the Spurs head coach go over the game plan during the timeout. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappy. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? Thank you, David. It's just excellent use of the pick and roll by Parker, a Tasmanian devil whose speed and decision-making causes so many problems for the defense. Now here's Davis over Robinson. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Davis has got seven points for the quarter. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and has them in position to grab the W. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Davis. The shot's good on the assist by West. West has got six assists here tonight. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. There's no panic in them. Staring at a big deficit, they still kept their poise and went to work. And guys, that's the man you want with the ball in his hands on that critical possession. Kawhi being his best in the biggest moments. Oh, this is where Davis X. 
fails, the stakes motivate him to play with reckless abandon. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, giving him the open look. And when the game is tight, you can see why they go to him. And, and by the way, where was the defense on that play? The shot by Paul, no good. Parker with it. Rush picks him up. Parker kicks to Duncan. Parker against Paul. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And you can tolerate gas like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Oh, he went for the two-hander on the slam. He's lost the some urgency from him there. Sure. And it on the wing. A three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. He wants the ball. They want him to have the ball. And as usual, he comes through in the clutch. Bounce pass from Paul. There's the triple. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Unreal. I mean, just think about it. Paul's been doing this for years, making huge shots. Robinson on the wing. Back to Parker. Leonard on the wing. Robinson kicks to Parker. Just five on the clock. Paul with the steal. Pass to Davis. Orleans moving it around. Ball against Parker. Floats one. It counts. Time out, time out. Clever shot from the clever veteran. I mean, calls timing and the lead. Just run. San Antonio calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 24 seconds left in the game. the enemy in this situation. And it's Paul with the ball for New Orleans. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Four team foul. At the line for your Pelican, Chris Paul. At the line for two. It's the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's a proven winner. I mean, it's easy to appreciate the skill set of Paul. A masterful shooter. And a clever shooter. They get what they want out of that trip, bro. Uh, you know, now with two possession game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They trail by five. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's your take, guys. They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah. Time is of the essence. Basket and the foul. It's got to be the game.
17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hunter kicks to Parker. The tray. They get a bet. It's up a three. Frames it from downtown. Time out, time out. That championship mentality of Leonard. This is why they go to him in the clutch. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They lead by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, and Dave is all energy. Big physical point guard with that shoot-first mentality. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line. No good. So it's a narrow victory for the Pelicans. Pulling it out for the W. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. So long, everyone.